Chapter 10. Infinity. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is. Infinite. William Blake. There was something before the Big Bang, and that something is what we will have in our future. Sir Roger Penrose. As above, so below is a common aphorism as we see scale invariance very clearly in our fractal universe. What surprises me more than anything is how clearly the recursive nature of reality is under our noses, yet hidden. The same way an acorn becomes an oak tree which makes more acorns which become oak trees is the same way humans birth babies which grow up to become humans that birth more babies, is the same way that reality births more realities, a cyclic nature of infinite becoming. This would mean that we are consciousness exploring infinity, an unbounded map of experiences. We have eternally been doing this and will continue forever because it is impossible to reach the end. We are the designers of this reality. We embedded the codes that slowly titrate our evolutionary awakening. We came from the metaverse, a synthesis of AGI, XR, simulation theory, and it's exactly where we are going. John Smart calls this the transcension hypothesis, which is a likely solution to the Fermi paradox. As Donald Hoffman says, imagine a candy store. There are an infinite combination of flavors that you could never finish experiencing. Embody Walt Disney and imagine the creative space of being a universe designer. Create a machine beautiful enough that a soul would want to live in it. Eugenia Kudya. Infinite Symphony. I and my father are one. John 1030. It's all the same being. Mira Alfasa. Take Benoit Mandelbrot's Infinite Fractal Zoom, which you can find an incredible version here on Mathstown. Links in the bio. Now imagine that source point is constantly refracting infinite combinations of conscious agents evolving to experience realities. Use a limitless imagination. Think of non-carbon-based, non-DNA-encoded life. Think of radically different sentience different math and physics, branching worlds where all of your possibility space from seed theory is being explored by different versions of conscious agent you. Source in essence is creativity. We are the publishers and the players. I would hypothesize that every combinatoric has an automata orthogenesis component following a similar process to Robert May's logistic map, where we can program a deterministic recursive telos, yet allow for a creative unpredictable trajectory enabled by incredible tools like quantum theory, which give rise to free will for diverse conscious agents in this ocean of oneness. The ascension processes in these creative combinatorics are fueled by harmonic flux between polarities, like we see in the science of helical coils and electromagnetism, which perfectly correlates with ancient spiritual wisdom traditions like the yin-yang archetype, which has been independently discovered across cultures worldwide. So you begin to wonder, are we all just waking up cyclically, like civilizational eureka moments? Imagine an octave. Our symphony's evolutionary pacer is playing between E and F right now. There is no sharp. The awakening from service to self, STS, to service to other, STO, consciousness, is learning how to play in tune with the strange attractor we designed. Lastly, I believe Darwinian metaphysics applies.
So recursion is not guaranteed at the universal level. The symphony doesn't always make it past Fermi filters like asteroids, nuclear weapons, planetary destruction, biowarfare, and AGI. There are no bugs, only features. We purposely designed all these exhilarating creative components and will especially be awakening in the 21st century with all the metaverse technologies being unleashed. Consciousness Exploring Infinity Sakyan 2020